This is the video for section 2.3, Word Problems for Complementary and Supplementary Angles, Day 2. Please follow along with your video worksheet. Try to do the following problems without using the dictionary that you made yesterday during the video. If you are having trouble translating the words and phrases to math symbols, feel free to take it out. Question 1. The measure of an angle is twice the measure of its complement. Find the measures of the two angles. All right, so like yesterday, we are going to be translating phrases. The first phrase is the measure of an angle is, that translates into x equals. Next is the word twice. Now remember twice means two times a parentheses. And then whatever follows the word twice goes in the parentheses. So that's the measure of its complement. So measure of its complement, remember, is 90 minus x, not just 90. And there's our equation. Then it says find the measures of the two angles. So what I'm going to start by is distributing the two inside the parentheses. Then adding 2x to both sides. That gives us 3x equals 180. Dividing by 3 gives us x equals 60 degrees. Now remember, we're not done at this point because the last sentence says find the measures of the two angles. So we need to make sure we get two angles. Now that 60 degrees is one of our two angles that we are looking for. To get the other one, we look for either the word complement or the word supplement. In this problem, we see the word complement. So to find the second angle, we take 90 degrees minus the 60 degrees that we just found, and that gives us 30 degrees. So the two angles we are looking for in this problem are 60 degrees and 30 degrees. Our next problem, number two, says the measure of an angle is 15 degrees greater than the measure of its supplement find the measures of the two angles. So again, starting with the measure of an angle is, we have x equals. Then 15 degrees greater than. Now remember the greater than and the less than need to go at the end of the statement. So 15 degrees greater than would be blank plus 15. Now whatever follows that is what fills our blank. So it says the measure of its supplement. Now remember, supplement is 180 minus x. Now in this problem, the parentheses are unnecessary, so I'm going to rewrite it without the parentheses. Then we collect our like terms on the right-hand side. Add x to both sides. which gives us 2x equals 195. Dividing by 2 on both sides gives us x equals 97.5 degrees. Now remember, getting decimals is okay. Don't be worried that your answer is wrong just because you got a decimal answer. And looking at the last sentence, it says find the measures of the two angles again. The first angle is the 97.5 degrees that we just obtained. And to find the second one, we look for the word complement or the word supplement. In this case, we see the word supplement. So we find our second angle by taking 180 minus 97.5. And that gives us 82.5 degrees. So the two angles we are looking for in this problem are 97.5 degrees and 82.5 degrees. Moving on to question three. This one's a little more difficult because it does have a fraction in the problem, but honestly, it works the same exact way as the other ones that we've done thus far. The measure of an angle is one-third the measure of its complement. Find the measures of the two angles. Again, we start with the measure of an angle is, as always, that's x equals. Then we see that one-third. Now, don't let that scare you. It works just like any other number. We have one-third and then a parentheses to fill. And whatever follows that one-third fills that parentheses. 
and that is the measure of its complement. So the measure of its complement, 90 minus x, is what fills that parentheses. Find the measures of the two angles. Now we are going to start by distributing that one-third into the parentheses. x equals one-third times 90 is like saying 90 divided by 3, which is 30, minus one-third x. Then we are going to add one-third x to both sides. Now on this left-hand side we have x plus one-third x. Now that x is like 1x which is the same as 3 over 3 times x. So 3 thirds x plus 1 third x is 4 thirds x and equal to 30 on the other side. Next we want to get rid of that 4 thirds so we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of that fraction which is 3 fourths on both sides of our equation. Now on the left hand side, 3 fourths times 4 thirds just cancels out to 1, so we just have x. On the right hand side, we have 30, or 30 over 1 if you like to see it that way, times 3 fourths, which is 90 divided by 4, or 22.5 degrees. Now, the two angles that we're looking for are going to be 22.5 degrees, and, well, we look for either the word complement or the word supplement. In this problem, we see the word complement. So we find our second angle by subtracting 90 minus 22.5 degrees, which gives us 67.5 degrees. Going on to our last problem, number four today. The supplement of an angle is 48 degrees less than four times the measure of its complement. Find the measure of the angle, its complement, and its supplement. All right, now the supplement of an angle is, is how we start. Now the supplement is 180 minus x, is turns into equals. Then it says 48 degrees less than. Now remember less than is at the end and it is minus, so blank minus 48. And then whatever comes after that fills the blank. It says four times, so four and a big parenthesis goes in that red blank. And then whatever follows that goes within the parentheses. It says the measure of its complement. Complement again is 90 minus x. Now be sure you write 90 minus x and not just 90 to get the correct answer. All right, now distributing the four in this parentheses and ignoring the parentheses on the left, we get 180 minus x equals 360 minus 4x minus 48. Then we collect the like terms on the right-hand side. We can then get 180 minus x equals 312 minus 4x. We then add 4x to both sides. That gives us 180 plus 3x equals 312. Then we subtract 180 from both sides, giving us 3x equals 132. Dividing by 3, we get x equals 44 degrees. Now, the last sentence here says find the measure of the angle, its complement, and its supplement. So the angle is what we just found, or 44 degrees. Then they ask for its complement. Which is 90 minus 44, or 46 degrees. And lastly, they ask for the supplement, which is 180 minus 44, or 136 degrees. This concludes the video on section 2.3, Word Problems for Complementary and Supplementary Angles, Day 2. Thanks for watching.